Oh, what a beautiful day to live. Oh wait, Supreme didn't drop. I guess I'm just gonna go back to sleep. No? Huh? Yo, what's up, bro? Wait, Supreme dropped? What the f Okay, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Pingy. Uh, hold up. Well, you know, it's been a long-ass time since your boys made a vid. And why not come back on the most glorious day of the year, Supreme Spring Summer 2018 preview drop. So, let's get to it, guys. Um, I looked through the lookbook already, and to be honest, the season is looking okay compared to other seasons. You know, my friends don't really like it at all. You know, the graphic tees are kind of weak as fuck, except for one heater. But, um, yeah, I'm sure Supreme will drop some more heat, you know. This brand is my favorite brand. You know, because they always just drop the craziest stuff, that the craziest references, culture references, everything. Craziest archive pieces and stuff too, so yeah. So at first glance, it's a pretty regular season, but you know, I've chosen the most heater pieces, the best pieces that you can ever get. Um, is there a way I can make it so I can, oh fuck. Is there a way I can make it so I can see my corner when I'm looking at Supreme? Wait, what if I do this? Second monitor. Okay, this is fucking clutch. Okay, okay, so yeah, that's it. Let's get to these. Let's get to these pieces right now, and let's see what you guys think. Tell me what you guys think. So yeah, right here we have the OG puffy jacket. It's looking pretty clean, pretty hype beasty, you know. Like people are saying, this is the most hype piece. I don't see how though. Like I feel like I could wear this for sure with some, I don't know, black pants maybe. It's a pretty cool piece, but actually I don't know what I would do with it. But it's still a cool piece. Probably won't cop though. Right here we have the Supreme Woven Batik Jacket. Pretty fucking fresh, you know. We got some crazy tribal African shit, bro. You know, Nigeria and Congo, you know. That's where we rep, that's where we rep in. And yeah, this shit is a good ass fire stuff. So let's see. Next we have the Yard Hooded Work Jacket by Lee Quinones. Pretty fucking cool. Let's keep looking. I love his jeans, man. Um, looks like he's an OG New York graffiti subway rider. We got the fucking Rustoleum shit. Like this guy is a god. It looks like. Don't really know about him. I only know about Blade and the OG guys. Like what is it? Stay, stay one two six. I don't fucking know. Taki, I think it's Taki. Like the OG New York taggers. But yeah, Rustoleum. This cool Afro graffiti sprayer guy. Fucking sick. I probably can't see myself wearing these. So let's see. Hellraiser collab. I thought this was so fucking sick because Hellraiser is one of my favorite horror movies. Um, you know, I watched it with my friends when we road tripped down to San Diego and it was so memorable, so I definitely have to cop this shit. Love, 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 love these pants. Does look a lot like golf wing, golf wing, punk face pants, as my friend Ken Wardeep told me. And I do see the similarities, but I still think it's a fresh pant and like it's a, like very clearly it's Hellraiser. So let's keep going. Wide stripe, this is fucking sick. Just a classic ass soccer goalie, finish line, footlocker boy shit. Definitely want this black one or the brown one. Just some timeless, clean menswear stuff. Right here, I have the tiger stripe rayon. We all know that this is like clout to the max. Like, this is some real heat, bro. Like, if I had the peacock, I would show you guys, but it's like the Picasso shirt, you know, like these cool ass art shirts. You know, like nothing is on these level. Just fucking sick, man. And all these colors, so fucking dope. This is definitely like a perfect summer shirt. I've definitely caught this. This is another fucking grail of the season. Like, let's see if there are any more pictures. Nope. But, uh, I did. This is so fucking timeless. This is so fucking sick. Like, MLK, big ass. This reminds me of the, what is it? The CDG Cuba stuff with this cool ass face and cool ass art style. I love this shit, man. So fucking clean. Let's keep going. Brushed Argyle cardigan. This is definitely a grail for sure. Let me check it, make sure it's recording. Okay, it's recording. Oh yeah, they had a dobo, guys. Like, my son has missed y'all. He's been a good boy, just chilling on my bed and been doing stuff with his dad, so. Let's see, we got the Argyle card again. This is really fucking dope. Looks like the mohair, but a good alternative and new, a new thing completely. I want the yellow and the black. You know, I've been looking for a cool card again, a really nice card again. Uh, the stuff boring, fuck that shit. 
Chest Strike, just a classic polo. I won't cop, but you know, I, th I still think it's dope. This is definitely like my must cop piece, bro. This is so fucking godly. This is unreal. This is like Thunderbird 2.0, except even fucking cleaner, bro. I hope this shit doesn't get hyped because I really want to cop it. I really want to get all the colorways, man. Like, the Thunderbird was one of my first Supreme pieces. It was so fucking sick. I remember wearing, pulling up to school, wearing that shit, like, and then my beginning hype these days, and everyone's like, what the fuck is this, bro? And it was so fucking heat. No one knew about OF or anything back then. Or Schoolboy Q wearing it, or Frank Ocean wearing it, and, dude, I was so pumped to have this piece, and this just piece just reminds me of that, and it looks just as sick with its cool own fucking Egyptian twist on it, so I definitely want the black piece and the white one and the pink one. So I XL, though, I had Thunderbird and M. It didn't fit too well. Uh, let's see, this piece is fucking weird, like, it just reminds me of a bald guy wearing this shit, like, he's a businessman with bald and has, like, two curly hairs and, like, he's a baby, kinda. Like, this is some shit I imagine some bald guy that likes to be dominated wears when he's getting dominated by a giant dominant woman. So, yeah, it's pretty fresh. Um, this right here is fucking sick, like, dude, this yellow hoodie, this is so godly, like, bro. Like, look at that shit, bro, like, wait, that's not even right. Yeah, it's just fucking clean, like, this is a grail, like, this is the iconic, timeless pieces that Supreme makes, definitely want this shit. This is fucking sick, too, all over painting, landscape hoodie, fucking dope, want the shorts, too. Skull pie, oh, skull pile, um, I don't, I'm not really sure what this reference is, I think reading is the, is the shirt that Juicy J wore a long ass time ago, not sure though, but you know, you know, the hype beast in me just wants to cop this because it says Supreme and it glows in the dark, so I can flex on my boy at the sleepover, let's keep going, monogram short, this is pretty sick, you know, they got that Gucci vibe going, um, I don't get the brown, the rest of the colorways are pretty fucking boring, this is, this is like the most slept on piece for sure, like this shit is like graphic design 20, like this, this is fucking, it's transcended graphic design. I need to cop this. Um, you know, the axe, pretty fucking cool. You know, goes in my shovel, crowbar, bolt cutter collection that just lies by the side of my bed in case I need to kill someone that breaks in. This would be there, you know, just imagine hacking away and killing someone. Like, that's fucking sick. Um, alphabet base, this is pretty cool. Um, you know, if you guys don't know, Mr. Pickles, I showed him in one video. He passed away, sadly. Um, he became paralyzed, paralyzed in his back and couldn't feel his pee pee and couldn't pee without the catheter. So, rest in peace, man. I love you, Mr. Pickles. You're my best boy. Hold up. I'm going to go I'm gonna go find some pictures and show you guys Mr. Pickles real quick. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see this, but wait, hold up. Let's see. This is Mr. Pickles. He is a half, or he was a half shih tzu, half... Lots of Obso mix, and he was the best boy I'm gonna ever ask for. It. I love you, Mr. Pickles. Rest in peace, man. I'll see you one day. Um, he's only three years old, and yeah, rest in peace, man. I love you, son. So yeah, this is the alphabet base. <laughs> Pretty fucking sick. Um, might put his ashes in there. Let's see. We got the now. And next, we have the life vest. This is fucking grail, you know. Fire bogo, supreme on the back. Like this might actually save my life because I don't know how to fucking swim. You know, I was thinking about taking lessons at 17, but I was too fucking scared, and to my knowledge, this is how you swim. So if anyone knows an easy way to swim, let me know. People have tried to teach me many times, but I just fucking sink and die, pretty much. Uh, tennis ball is just dope. I'll hit that shit with my tennis racket. And yeah, let's see if there's anything that I missed. Uh, just going through one more time. This, of course, bro, the Illegal Business Control of America, what the fuck, this is fucking heat, this is another grail, but I mean, I don't think it tops the full zip um, that Ian Connor wore, everyone knows about that, but yeah, this is just a fire-ass, iconic Supreme piece. Um, this is pretty cool, too, I love the colors on this one, the other colorways look pretty bland, um, this, the white one and blue and brown, is that brown or, okay, brown looks pretty cool, too, but... Still don't think I'll cop, you know, half zips aren't really my style anymore unless it's vintage Patagonia. This, you know, I mean, if I was 15 listening to Rice Gum, watch Rice Gum, I would cop this, you know. <laughs> get the Lakers colorway too. Nah, actually I get the all white or the black. But, you know, this is just too high beastie. It's not really worth my money anymore. I'll probably resell this if I want to. I don't even think it's worth the time really, but just a cool piece. My way to pretend to be high beast. Pretend. 
So yeah, that's it guys. The champion collab looks okay really. Don't see anything special there. Um, the accessory is pretty fucking sick this season. Pinball machine is dope. Kayak is dope. Breathalyzer is dope. Stamp is dope. Um, if I was a teacher, I would definitely use a stamp and just troll all my students, but it's probably not legal to say, don't ask me for shit, boy, when you're a fucking teacher. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Supreme Season looks pretty cool. This is the Grail deck set. If you can get this, like, dude, keep this forever. It's fucking dope. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Uh, hopefully you guys didn't see anything there. But um, yeah, that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this vid. Let me know what you guys thought. Follow me on Instagram if you want. I'm not really about that flexing life anymore. You know, I still drop occasionally a few fit pics. But yeah, I respond to DMs too. I respond to Snapchats. Just add me, email me. Pinky shirt still open. Definitely trying to revamp that shit. You know, like it's been a minute. Um, I'll probably drop a long ass video about you know why I was gone, what I was doing when I was gone, everything that was happening. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know you guys thought. It's all love, man. It's Pinky. You know. I'm alive for all you guys wondering. I uh, haven't been getting gains, um, kinda. Uh, but yeah, that's it, guys. Peace out. Love y'all. You it's your boy.